Guest is a short film about a Nigerian couple in 1973 who invite their English colleagues to dinner. It disguises itself as a story about cultural exchange, but really it's an unfortunate story about how sometimes you have to concede an element of your humanity or identity in order to survive. Guess was inspired by a drawing that I saw at an art gallery of, I presume was a house party back in the 60s or 50s. You saw through two windows a man and a woman. Even though they were kind of on opposite sides of the room, you could kind of tell there was like a relationship between the two of them. And that started my brain thinking about telling a story about something a bit more close to home. So kind of married those two ideas together and from that Guess was born. So although the BFI do like to get quite involved in projects, there is also a strong sense of authorship. I've never felt at any point like I've not been able to direct this in the way that I want to. They're just working towards getting you the best version of your film that they possibly can. Okay, Ronke is traveling okay. now. Hello. 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 How are you? <laughs> so with our cast, we're really excited that we got to have Ronke and Michael playing Abiola and Cecilia. And then we have Abby and George playing Jen and Joe. And they're just, yeah, they're just incredible actors all in their own rights but I think collaboratively they've made such an amazing team. It was exciting to hear that the BFI had funded this show and for me I was really enthusiastic about that mostly because it was a black director and a black led story and also a story that I had never really thought about myself like I never really thought about what it would have been like for our parents coming to this country and trying to situate and some of the complications that would have created within their own relationships. In order to execute this film and the way in which Timmy wanted to do it and the way it should be done, we would need more money. I think not just because it's set in the 70s, but also it's quite an intricate story and you want to have time with the actors on set. Timmy had always mentioned that he potentially had some other investors or people that wanted to back the film. First one was Morgan from Pavilion Works who wanted to contribute to the film but also come on and produce the film as well. That was kind of a blessing. I've really enjoyed this experience not just Pavilion Works putting in money but also putting in resources and time and having Morgan to co-produce with. Pavilion Works Originals is the production company that's attached with Guest. It's an arm of Pavilion Works which is a commercial side but this is the narrative side where we're focusing on working with directors like Timmy and emerging directors and producers and writers to build out our slate of more long form and narrative work. I think my first introduction to Guess was a really strong one. I think when I first read the script and treatment, Timmy had suggested to like listen to a specific track at the point. And I thought, you know, when I was in that world, I could just really sort of get a really strong sense of what he wanted to sort of create and I think I could really feel the tension within the script and treatment and for me I was just on board as soon as I read that. And action! He's a good man. He's helped me before and he can help us again. Cut there. <laughs> As a producer, a lot of your hard work is kind of done in the sort of lead up to it and of getting everyone here and then sort of like handing over the keys to everyone else. And I think our jobs are more about sort of just making sure it all kind of goes smoothly. Timmy's happy, like everyone's bringing the whole vision together. Hello, Tom. Hello, Tom. Cool, thank you. So today we are on day one of the shoot. Uh, yesterday we were here pre-lighting and dressing the set. One of the main challenges was the fact that the space is quite small and obviously it's a dinner scene so we, everything was taking place at this centre table so we had to try and figure out a way that we could light the table but not have too many stands on the floor for a speed of being able to work around the table. We ended up coming up with a solution to use a pole cap and have our top light fix above the set without any stands in play. So in pre-production, me and Timmy were talking through our references for the look we wanted to create for the film. The main reference point for us was Barry Jenkins' film, If Bill Street Could Talk. We really liked the way that they were lighting black skin tone and how they treated all the interior scenes in that film, which is essentially what we tried to replicate in this uh, scene here. Hey, hon. How's it going? Hi. Good. Hello. I'm alright. I'm Eleanor. Hi, Eleanor. It's beautiful, Eleanor. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs>
So to make guests come alive, I had to look in a lot of different places. I got lots of different fabrics, spoke to people about kind of what they had that was Nigerian, that was handmade and had been like recently imported. I got the food, which is a really, really big central part of the film from this little shop in Dawson as well that I've been to before. So it's nice, I guess, to keep all the sourcing as local as possible. The inspiration behind the set, I guess, starts with me reading the script and speaking to Timmy about the vision for the film. I spoke a lot about colour palettes and the kind of like mood and vibe of the house and so we wanted to go for like browns and reds and warm colours, a bit of yellow in there I guess you know the house kind of gives you a lot of ready so you're working off of that and then it's all about the little details that you can bring in. I asked him lots of questions about them as a couple, when they migrated from Nigeria, what they would have brought with them. I made sure to get a little talking drum that we could add into the background. So it was about making their house feel as theirs as possible. You know what you know what thinking. Guys, that's a wrap! <laughs> 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 Thank you, Terry! Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People were telling me to write about what I know, which wasn't something that I had done before that point. But um, I couldn't be happier to say that like this is the first one that allows me to engage with like who I am, where I come from, and it's happening on this scale. And you guys have brought so much love and like passion and like um, uh, finesse and professionalism to it. And I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you very, very much. Um, I hope we get to do this again soon. Thank you. It's a wrap. It's better from him to be honest. <laughs>